what are we eating? What are we eating? Shalom, shalom, kahala, yahawa, bahashim, yahusha, bahashim, rakakwadash. My name is Ibar from the Prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa, Florida. I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles, the great mills, who taught us his truth and truth and sincerity, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect scattered abroad. And real quick, I want to touch on this video you see on the screen. And it shows just, you know, different you know, videos of, you know, the food being dipped in, you know, strange liquids and sprayed with chemicals and you know um uh um you know coated with toxins man okay so food the food we eat right now is poisonous and this is why majority of people are sick this is why the cancer rate is going up this is why so many diseases is uh um going out people have all these different diseases and sicknesses it's because of the food that we eat is defiled man okay it, it is defiled and when you you know even if you try to eat healthy you know go organic or you know vegetarian or whatever whatever however you may have it the food is defiled we are in a we are in a polluted and corrupt world and a part of that is you know having to deal with these um unfortunate you know living conditions including the food you see you see today spraying the bananas you know, and these people are wicked, man. You know, a lot of stuff comes, comes, comes from over there in China, where they just, it, it is all about money, you know, and, you know, they, they'll feed you garbage, you know, you feed it to your children, and they get rich, you know. But this is, it's, 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 it's has long term, term effects in your body as eating, you know, this, uh, these poisons, the, these chemicals, and what's not food. All right, so we're going to grab a couple of scriptures real quick, and we're going to stop real quick. I ain't going to make this too long I'm on my break. It says the food is poisonous and defiled. We need salvation from this wicked and polluted world. Okay, and that's what this place is. It's wicked and polluted, man. Okay. In the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahusha, we pray the Lord to come and destroy this place and destroy these devils that's that, 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 that that's doing this, man. Okay, so this is um Ezekiel. In the book of Ezekiel, chapter 4, verse 13. And Yahweh said, Even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles. Where I will drive them, which we have been driven all and scattered all over the world amongst these Gentiles, these heathens, and we are eating our bread defiled amongst these, these heathens, man. And, and who do we get our, our food from, by the way? Who do we get our food from? Who do you think owns these stores, you know, where you go and, and buy your groceries from? It's these Gentiles, okay? It's these heathens. So they allow these certain things, and you may even go in there, try to eat healthy, try to grab some organic stuff, and you find out that the organic stuff is just as bad as the um, non organic stuff. Okay, you got uh, GMOs and everything. All right, so we, you know, ultimately we need salvation, man. In the kingdom of heaven, we're gonna have real food, pure food, clean food. You know, not this, you know, poisonous garbage, man. Okay, and this is why we 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 have our minds set on the kingdom of heaven. 
Micah chapter 2 verse 10 Arise ye and depart for this is not your rest Because it is polluted It shall destroy you Even with a sore destruction So we hoping that this place don't last much longer Because we understand that this place is not our rest We don't have rest here You constantly, you constantly working, you can hardly get, get enough sleep And if you do get sleep, it's not good sleep You know, the food that you eat, it's defiled You know, it, 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 it has no, no nutrition in it You know and all these things accumulate and, and and over time you know unless the lord comes and deliver us soon no flesh is going to make it man the scripture said that the time of tribulation like never before and except that um those days be short and no flesh shall be saved and why because of shit like this man and and and, and worse and worse there's other there's other stuff going on too but this is just a prime example man and, and you'll never know you might be just going to the grocery store buying you know spending all this fucking money on on inflated you know prices and you know the whole time you just getting poisoned and in the long run anyways man and, and now is the time man to start fasting more man start eating less start fasting more start seeking out by shimmy out shy more because hey death is uh <laughs> rampant here here in babylon man and you can tell just by you know you just, hey, just by the food man much less everything else the water the air everything is polluted man <clears throat> But it says 2 Cor Corinthians chapter 2 verse 11 Lest Satan should get an advantage of us We are not ignorant of his devices And this is why we have to be very aware Of this damn devil Because you know he's trying to get an advantage of us He wants you to go you know Out there and you know stuff your face with all this garbage man You know so 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 before you know it You sick you in the hospital And then they start giving you drugs That's making you sicker you know And you know shit a lot of the damn A lot of this um food is, As you see is getting pumped with those very drugs Okay, so this place is wicked, man. We need the Lord to come back and deliver us and to punish these damn devils. In our kingdom, everybody's going to have, you know, pure food and clean water, man. Okay, pure food and clean water. And, food, and the food is going to be of high grade, not this garbage that we see, you know, the world eating to a day. It says, 2nd Ezra chapter 6, verse 27. For the earth, for, like, for the wicked shall be put out and the seat shall be quenched. As for faith, it shall flourish, corruption shall be overcome, and the truth which have been so long without fruit shall be declared. So evil shall be put out, man. And this is evil. This is deceit right here. It makes you think you're eating, you know, healthy food like that soursop. You know, soursop is good for you. You know, but then next thing you know, you know, you shit ain't even some real soursop. Or it's been, you know, dipped in, you know, uh, you know, piss water or something, man. You know, who knows, you know, but this is go to show, you know, and, and a lot of these chemicals, chemicals you can't even pronounce, man. A lot of these chemicals are, you know, they'll have, you know, you know, a, a damn skull and bones, um, you know, a symbol on it telling you it's poison and they'll still put it in your food, man. Okay. As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. And this is corruption, man. The reason why this is able to happen because because the system is corrupt down to down to everything that we eat. It's all corrupt and, and, and defiled, man. It says, uh, Second Ezra chapter two verse thirteen. Go and ye shall receive. Pray for a few days unto you that they may be shortened. The kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch, and we trust that the kingdom is prepared for us, man, because we need we need the kingdom. Okay, we need the kingdom to hell with America, to hell with Babylon, to hell with this wicked, wicked nation. We need the kingdom of heaven from our power, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, and we pray He deliver us sooner than later, man. All right, to hell to hell with this place, man. You know. Um, you know, and and you know, with that you gotta pray. You know, pray that the Lord, you know, make make these days shorter so we can get the hell up out of here, man. And whatever some say, Shalom, Kwame Sharala, a Bob, a Bar, I wanna touch on that real quick, cause hey, man, <laughs> be careful what you eat, you know, and, and and really nowadays you'll never even know. But you know, pray, pray you know, pray, 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 pray over your, your your food for the Lord to take out all the impurities and uh, allow it to be nourished into your body, man. You know, and and really with that, you, we, we 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 need we need a miracle. Cause, Cause like I said, the same food, man. But shalom, I'm calling Sharala a Baba Ball. Shalom.